vegan and plant-based are not the same. There is a difference. Vegan diets, this is a very strict, strict regimen. It eliminates all animal products, all right? Meat, poultry, seafood, dairy, and even honey, believe it or not. Plant-based is predominantly plant-based food, but we have room for flexibility here, all right? The American Institute of Cancer Research has a formal definition. Plant-based would mean your plate is two-thirds whole plant, whole plant foods and then one-third or less animal products and it would eliminate all processed foods and added sugars. And we have this wonderful visual that AICR also gives us called the New American Plate. And you can see that your portion of um, meat is very small. I would say that's probably two ounces of meat, so maybe about 15 grams of protein. So you've got good variety, two different kinds of vegetables, and a very reasonable portion of, a whole, of brown rice. Plant-based would look like that. Why might someone consider a strict vegan diet? A lot of information out there um, claiming that it will reduce the risk of cancer and other diseases. People have concerns about animal welfare, and this is, you know, very understandable and legitimate. There's also concerns about the environment. And then there are some religions also that really discourage any consumption of animal products. There are some words of caution, though, you should be aware of if you eliminate all animal products you're gonna have a higher risk of protein deficiency, calcium, it's gonna be harder to get omega-3 fatty acids, zinc, B12, vitamin D. You know, these can be resolved by taking supplements, but you just really need to be aware of what you're doing to be smart about how you're following this diet. Higher risk of the following health conditions can also occur if you're not really aware, um, depression, hair loss, anemia, muscle wasting, and weak bones. So you want to be in the know and well-educated if you are going down the path of a vegan diet. It's always more of a challenge to get enough protein if you're on a vegan or totally plant-based diet. All of us should aim to get at least 60 grams of protein per day. And if you're a very active person or if your body is under any sort of stress from disease or injury, you're going to need a lot more protein than 60 grams. Sometimes a gram per pound of body weight is a good target to go by in that case. Um, but plants don't usually have, they're not complete sources of protein. They do not contain all the essential amino acids. So you have to put more thought into your daily food intake. Lots and lots of variety, different kinds of veggies, um, legumes, your beans, your peas. Um, that whole category of food is loaded with protein and antioxidants and fiber, so that should be included. Um, quinoa is a nice source. All the nuts and seeds are fantastic. Um, soy products actually are the one exception where that is a comp complete source of protein. Um, so if you want to get your tofu or soy milk, it's a good option. And then finally, you might want to consider um, supplementing with a protein drink, something like the um, plant-based, you know, organic or game supplements would be one good option to really boost that intake up to your target levels. So good to focus on protein if you're following a plant-based diet.